period. Tony Rumble, your reputation precedes you. I accept your offer. Michael Nelson accepts his offer of joining the Brotherhood after firing Vinnie Capelli as his manager and leaving the Cash Money Boys. But their paths definitely crossed again, and Vinny had a surprise for Knuckles. Knuckles. Vinny, I'm not really in the mood for this Knuckles, right now. Listen, you gotta understand something. I'm really not in the mood for this listen, at all right now. Listen, you fired me. I couldn't accept it at the time. But hey, we were friends before. At least let's have bygones be bygones and drop it here. Nah, I can do that. We were friends. I agree. You know, wait, no, forget it. Get him, boys! Oh. of this brutal attack, the then commissioner, Franklin D. Churchill, had no choice but to suspend Vinnie Capelli and the other members of the Cash Money Boys. Vinnie Capelli just seemed to disappear off planet Earth up until eight months ago. Missing in action, Vinnie Capelli showed up in the front row at CWA shows talking on a cellular phone. Who was he talking to? It seemed every time a member of the Brotherhood had a wrestling match, he'd be at ringside on the phone. In this particular matchup, Tony Rumble received the phone from Vinnie Capelli. They're mortal enemies. Who, who was on that phone, and why was Tony Rumble interested in taking that phone call? We still have no idea who's on the phone. We don't know why Tony Rumble even accepted the phone message in the first place. It's obvious whoever's on the other end of that line has a lot of influence on both these individuals, especially that man, Tony Rumble, because on this given day, Vinnie Capelli became the newest member of the Brotherhood. I guess bygones are bygones. To this day, we still have no idea who's on the other end of that phone, but after Capelli returned, so did a few other names from the past. One of those names being Mr. Intensity, Eric Sprazier, a member of the Cash Money Boys, now a proud member of the Brotherhood and reconciled with Knuckles Nelson. Another name that has surfaced, not many people know who he is, but he's Reno. That's because he's Vinnie Capelli's godfather. That's right, Reno is Vinnie Capelli's godfather and now the manager of the Brotherhood. Unbelievable cheapest creepers, and we'll be back with more of an inside look at the CWA.